No matter who you are, when you join the military, your body is going to change, which is partly why I joined at 130 pounds and now I weigh over 180 pounds. I'm not fat though. I'm not fat. Believe that. My bench press is 275, squat 405, deadlift 475. Come at me. But before the military, I wasn't anything special. The only reason why I wasn't fat or unhealthy was because I did sports. Volleyball is a slept on sport, by the way. If it wasn't for sports, I would probably just be cooped up in my room playing video games. Mountain Blade was actually my favorite game. If you know what it is, shout out to you. But without sports, I would have been a complete nerd with probably no friends. Although I did play sports, it didn't really help me when I was at basic training. Even though I went to future soldier training, even though you guys saw my channel back in the old days, me training for basic training, I still almost failed basic training. I almost failed basic training because my body has never done anything that intense physically before. The military is gonna break you down physically and rebuild you back up. When you go, you're gonna see a lot of people get hip fractures, all sorts of injuries, blisters on their feet, you name it. And in the beginning, it's gonna be a struggle for not only you, but for everyone else around you. But by the end of basic training or whatever respective military branch you go to, you guys should be in the best shape of your guys' life. When I first went to basic training, my run time was in the 15 minutes, and by the end of it, I was down at 12 or 12.30. And you guys are gonna be able to track your progress while you're at basic training because you guys are gonna take PT tests regularly, and if you fail them twice, you're gonna get shipped back home, which almost happened to me because I failed the sit-ups, and your boy was kinda depressed when he failed, but he worked on it. In the bay, after hours, you know what I'm saying, done with training, your boy was doing sit-ups because he made sure why am I talking to myself in third person? I made sure that I did not fail because we're not failures. If you needed to lose weight to join the military, you're gonna weigh significantly less than what you joined. And if you needed to gain weight like me, you're gonna weigh a lot at the end of basic training. It's not over yet though. After basic training, you guys gotta go to AIT to learn your job. And if you guys chose a job that's related to combat or it's physically intensive in any way, it's not gonna get much easier. But at this point, after basic training, like I was saying before, you guys should be in the best shape of your life. So don't lose your discipline with all the new freedoms that you guys are going to get at an AIT. Exercise regularly, even outside of PT hours. You're still going to be taking PT tests, and if you fail them both, you're going to be shipped home. You're not out of the water yet. Stay disciplined. I talked about how AIT sucks on my channel already, so if you guys seen that video, you guys should already know you guys don't want to do anything that's going to make you guys stay there longer. Failing your PT test will do that. When you're in AIT, you have to wear something called a PT belt, which is a bright yellow belt that you guys have to wear. And the people who scored well in their PT test, aka me, your boy, they got a white belt. And they also got some privileges like you don't have to go to PT every morning because you guys have to go to PT every morning for five days out the week or whatever, which kind of never happened. So I'm kind of upset with that, but we got a belt. You feel me? White belt gang. That's what we called it. It was pretty dope. By the time you guys graduate AIT and you guys go to your duty station, if your body hasn't started to break down due to the high stress the military puts on your body, it's going to be now at your duty station, doing your job, training regularly, rucking regularly make sure you go to the doctor and get it documented and get it checked out do not soldier on and do not pretend to not be hurt get checked out because you're only hurting yourself more and the people who you're trying to impress aren't going to be taking care of you when you're crippled so don't do that but when you get to your first duty station depending on the unit that you guys are in or the mos that you guys chose physical fitness or pt or exercising regularly in the army shouldn't be that bad you guys should just be doing just some light to medium PT every morning, five days a week. It's not gonna be that bad. It's gonna be only to maintain you. So if you wanna be in the gym, you feel me, after work, getting them gains like your boy, gaining some weight, drinking protein shakes, you're gonna be able to go to the gym after work or whenever you guys get free time. Since you're gonna be at your duty station, you're pretty much have freedom compared to AIT and basic training. So you're gonna see a lot of your battle buddies or other soldiers get lazy and undisciplined. They're gonna eat like crap. They're gonna stop working out. They're gonna stop exercising. And it's gonna show when it comes time to do PT in the morning or take a PT test. You're gonna see who's been putting in that work after hours and who hasn't. And you don't wanna be that soldier with a big fat belly because you're a hypocrite if you try to come at anybody else for their weight or for their physical athletic ability or whatever you wanna call it. Believe it or not though, if you guys follow me on Instagram or on the Discord server, your boy did not really start hitting them weights 
and a lot of you guys are gonna resonate with this until he got his heart broken you feel me the army it, it like persuaded me to get into the gym but like i got a big brother right I just wanted to be bigger than my big brother, bro. Low key, me too. I'm I'm the youngest out of five. I gotta. I'm the youngest out of everybody. Now I'm the biggest out of everybody. And and I've been through various heartbreaks. You feel me? <laughs> nah, you said. Nah, I don't know. You said you never got your heart broken. That's cap though. Uh, I, I don't know. I ain't never got my heart broken by a female. No. Homie. Oh, by a female. Not by a female. Oh, okay. Damn, I forgot. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, whoa. So that was the main reason I got started with the gym. You feel me? but it's been to the point where I've been working out for over three to four years now. I just absolutely love it. You fall in love with it. If you guys are watching this and you're not into the gym, just do it for six months, see what it does to you and you're gonna get addicted to the results. You're not even gonna do it for the original reason that you chose to do it anymore. But I'm telling you boys, especially to my fellas out there, the females that come with working out and having a nice body is worth it. And when your boys merch comes out, the channel blows up, we get millions, Porsche 911, it's just all gonna come for a circle. And just being able to, you know, be strong and look good is just, you know, it's gonna just make your life better, bro. Just like, just go to the gym. You're not gonna get robbed as much because, you know, who's gonna wanna rob a strong dude, you feel me? Don't be him. Don't be the weak guy that gets robbed, you feel me? In the military, you're gonna have to carry casualties. Another big reason for me going to the gym is during the field exercises, we have to carry infantrymen and infantrymen plus their gear weapon etc and i was like god dang man this is crazy i'm out of breath i'm weak i'm struggling and i'm just thinking to myself what if this was real what if i actually needed to do this and i couldn't that would weigh a ton on my mind i would probably i probably couldn't live with that on my conscious so make sure you're not in that situation and if you are you're able to perform like seriously this is no joke it might happen and also you can open a pickle jar in one go and if you guys go on deployment nowadays it's really just getting paid to work out and maybe do college if you guys are lucky so deploy hit the weight hit the gyms set your fitness goals and execute it to be honest if i didn't join the military i would probably be fat because if you guys are already out of high school you guys are going to start noticing that your friends who you went to high school with are kind of getting a little fat you feel me they're getting fat and ugly and the fact that you're not going to be one of them is is just is just a major flex man and the health benefits down the line obesity in america is freaking crazy and just to say that you're better than the average person in the united states or the world you're in the top one percent it's just it's just a major flex the military gives you the gift of being in the best shape of your life do not lose that gift because you got lazy once you got to your duty station take advantage of what they gave you and build off of that at the end of your career I can't stress you guys enough to go to medical or sick call whenever you guys get hurt or injured and get this stuff documented because you don't want to be one in pain two not get paid for your service related injury and three i don't know just get taken care of man like don't hold any pride don't not go for other anybody's you know opinions just go man take care of yourself first always